Our first wedge is efficiency transport. This wedge would help out with transportation, and this was always inexpensive with one dollar sign. The challenges would be car size and power, but this method could double the efficiency of all world's cars from 30 to 60 miles per gallon. We picked this first wedge because it would increase automobile fuel efficiency and reduce pollution. Fuel switching electricity, replacing coal burning power plants with natural gas. We chose this because coal is more harmful to the environment than natural gas, and natural gas is more efficient. Solar electricity displaces coal power and uses energy from the sun to power objects in a cheaper and cleaner way. The selected solar energy, because it's a clean, cheap way of getting energy, and it is a popular way to get power today. Our fourth wedge is efficiency electricity. This wedge helps with electricity production and is also inexpensive with one dollar sign. The challenges would be increased plant costs. This method was chosen because one wedge could come from raising plant efficiency from 40% to 60%. Nuclear electricity, switching coal, burning power plants with nuclear power plants, which doubles the capacity of energy. We chose this because it is cheaper than most of the other methods and is more efficient. Wind electricity is a mildly costed way to receive energy. Windmills are put in place and move when the wind hits them, causing them to move and create electricity. We picked wind electricity because it will displace coal-based electricity and have its own land for wind farms. Whoa, it's blown away. Efficiency building. It's increased insulation, so less energy has to go into heating the building. And Increase furnace and lighting efficiency, which shows this because it's cheap and easy to do. Our eighth wedge is wind hydrogen. This helps produce hydrogen with wind electricity. This wedge helps with transportation and heating and directs for use. This wedge, however, is expensive with $3 size. You pick this wedge because one wedge could come from powering half the world's cars projected for 2050 with hydrogen. The only challenges are finding a place to put these wind turbines, hydrogen infrastructure, and safety. Mm -hmm.